that's kind of impossible to get. If we had Megan with us still, we would have been able to get it. I don't even think we would have been able to get it with her. Yeah, it wasn't you, so you much the, the, the location as yeah, the co the game was in giving yes, us the you ability. Jump, you jump once and it makes you fly. It yeah, but I don't know if you press it again and it makes you fly. So. I don't know how, I'd like if she was, I don't imagine this game was good enough it's where if she was on, yeah, if she would actually hover so much if she would just straight drop. We were sure How come get we can to get this many t-shirts? He can afford to buy ginormous turrets, but these guys have just got billy clubs. <laughs> he bought these first and then he worked his way up. Oh, I guess Lex, Lex gave him the turrets, I guess. Yeah, probably. And the sniper rifles. <laughs> it's like, here's four Ooh, sniper rifles. I don't want to do this anymore. It's just shit. Not even supposed to be here today. It's not entertaining, and it's not challenging, and it's not enjoyable. It's not big, it's not, it's not <laughs> clever. <laughs> it's, no, it is not. It's not anything that a video game should be. Oh, you son of a cunt. How the fuck was I supposed to... You've got to push that yeah. slightly more forward. But how would you know that? Like, that's pure just, oh, we'll just fuck them over. I think that's gone as far as I... Oh, for God's sake! Jesus Christ. <laughs> whoop Just like it's always the same manoeuvre. Ah! Where the fuck are we going? I don't know. We've got to jump over this and... Oh, there's a fucking... Oh, God. She's still down? Uh, yeah. yeah. But I don't know that you can get to her without, <laughs> that, without that sniper in the way. And can't and get to her can't get to her anyways, because... These have the rain... You, you can literally be like four centimetres away from each other before the, the game decides that's too far. If you get two centimetres from each other, it decides you're too close. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's just like everything is. Fuck off. Oh, God, I'm down. <laughs> you can't be down, you're throwing your batarang. Well, I can't. Oh, I had enough strength to bring myself back to life to throw a batarang and then I'm dead again. Back to work, you back lazy to reality. Oh, I've got to go all the way around to get her. No, fuck her. She'll, get, she'll come back for life when we open this door in a minute. Don't understand the point of those, as they don't pop anything out. The f <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they're just there. I don't. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, is there there's a door here, and she'll come back alive. We should join us when we uh, hit the switch. Mickey Mouse. Are really shit, but they look, yeah, it's a combination of the uh, the the lifter from Aliens and ED one hundred and nine from King Robocop. I saw in Japan they're actually who am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're actually uh, pretty much building a, a power, proper power loader now. Yeah, using the uh, like that technology they've got where you put it. On your arms and stuff, and it like triples your strength and things. Yeah. But they're building one that's like the size of a power loader <laughs> with like big pincer arms and shit. Cool. Ever edging ever closer to Max. And then we're all finally joined the military. That's all we're waiting for the Max. And the aliens. And the deep spaces, deep stasis sleep. So and the madness. 
That's all we want. That's all we want military and science. We just want mechs, aliens, deep space, deep stasis sleep, and the occasion of space madness. Is that so much to ask? Everyone loves a little bit of Pandora every now and then. The so that's what causes the space madness. That's the only film that they put on the spaceships. <laughs> that's an awesome film. Yeah, but if it was the only film you had to watch, I think we went up a little bit. I think she's got one point, brilliant. You can put anything into her health now. No. Fuck it, shot by again. What's his, ter- what's his terrible costume? Brilliant. I don't have any words for how shit that is. <laughs> Anyways, uh. Grapple. When the hell are we going to unlock the rest of the thing so we can increase them? I think maybe they don't, maybe it doesn't unlock until you've maxed out all the the or first four slots of all of them. The second playthrough. Christ, with that in is it? Oh, you flipped to your normal yellow. <laughs> yep. Order the red. Probably has a purple costume. Flash never wears purple. No purple for you. It would, when I rewrite the whole entire DC universe, everyone wears purple. You double it, so instead of 52, it becomes 104. That took you a bit of time, didn't it? That's your quick calculation. No, it'd just be called the new purple. What, and everyone wears <laughs> everyone purple? Everyone wears purple, and has the exact same costume. No one knows who anyone is. Everyone just thinks back to reality. His, his alternate costume looks more like uh, Batgirl's costume. Uh, the, what, what's her name? The, the Asian Batgirl. Oh. Cassandra Kane. Yeah, it looks more like hers than Batman. <laughs> it's it's probably sh- meant to be like a prodigal son costume. Nice. Yeah, maybe. If you ever read that? If you lent it to me, I read it. <laughs> no, it was, it's not one I bought, it's one I read from the library. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, I might have. Who knows? I read most of the comics from our local library. Great! What a terrible view. The fuck? What? Oh, just like that attack, just like fucked everything up. Like, well, she was more than she knew. I don't know. It wasn't my attack. No. I don't, that's why I was like, who the fuck just did that? Maybe she did it. Hopefully there'll be no snipers in this level. That level wasn't even long. It was just tedious. Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> we did try saying that to him three times. But if we did, they'd just stop shooting us. It'd be uh, Nightwing would have been more effective if we'd thrown a fucking shoe at him. <laughs> oh, we know these are odd because they're red. Red means danger. Oh look, see now the Nightwing, uh, now the uh, Riddler ladies have popped out and they've got The Riddler sights. ladies are wearing worse clothes than the Riddler men. Do you think Riddler would put, <coughs> put his, his ladies in something sexy? No, he's not. He's, he's equal rights. He he's not going to... Uh, Since when? What do you mean? There's no problem. There's all no problem fucking the henchmen. Uh, all the henchmen put their fucking... All uh, super criminals put their female henchmen in like spandex well not Riddler Riddler is nice Riddler is clearly uh, a feminist and he has he doesn't want to objectify women so he's put them in a frumpy t-shirt and ill-fitting jeans he's not got Gok Wang on his his team he's got Wang a super villain <laughs> he's not like in the, te- the terrible Batman or was it Sugar and Spice there were uh, two faces Henchmen, or basically whores. Yeah, they exist in the comics. Yeah, I know, but they're, they're just, a little less shit. They could in actually the fight. Yeah, and they weren't Drew Barrymore. And other woman. Oh, yeah, I don't think other woman was ever anyone big. It's almost bizarre that that's Drew Barrymore of old people. It's just like Christ. It was when she was like just starting to become famous again. Yeah. After she. Went psycho as a child and became like a fifteen-year-old heroin addict. Yeah, no. What did you do to her, ET? What did you do to her? But then again, then then again, she got off the heroin and married Tom Green. So yeah, they got divorced now. She came to her senses, but you know, 
It was like five years of heroin uh, fucking abuse, five years of being married to Tom Green. I'm not sure which one's worse. I think I'd choose the heroin. I think the heroin's better because at least it's, you know, at least you wouldn't have to just look over and see Tom Green's face every morning. <laughs> Him just like, where have you got these cow cuts? <coughs> why are you sucking on a cow? Or other bullshit. Look at my hooves! Look at my hooves! Oh, it's like a divorce. <laughs> You've got to jump across the trucks to get it. Can you make it? That's the only thing that would have made that um, Chris Carter thing terrible, is if instead of, of having... Um, What's his name? Jamie Kennedy. He, oh, yeah. It had, had Tom Green as the clown. <laughs> well, Jamie Kennedy's not fucking great himself, is it? No, but we didn't even realise it was Jamie Kennedy until we took the clown makeoff. We were just like, "Where's this come come from? He was the clown." <laughs> like he could. If, imagine if he if that got an entire series and for like five seasons he never took the clown makeoff, and he we were like, "Yeah, that, the clown's our favourite character." Well, the funny thing is, I saw his name come up in the credits. Yeah. But I still didn't put even when it was like. 30 minutes in and he hadn't appeared yet you still I didn't still didn't put it together that he was the clown <laughs> you were just thinking at least at least Jeremy Kennedy's not signed up yeah I like him in the screen films that's about it yeah he's alright I just don't you know he's not terrible but but it, it's it's a, a serious show they would have got a serious actor well he might be good it'll be inter- I guess it'll be interesting to see whether or not he's got the chops or not the man chaps we'll have to wait and see considering that like the, 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 all the other the, the in the uh, varied other characters they've got like Irish man who just likes to swear and drink <laughs> we, you know it's not exactly the highest calibre of characterisations in the first episode has it actually been picked up yet? I don't know I haven't heard anything about it yet I'm keeping an eye out Amazon's always really weird isn't it because I mean I don't know how it works I don't know I think it's an Amazon show anyway yeah it was so I'll have to wait and see whether or not Amazon liked it, I guess. I don't really know what they do with Amazon. I don't know how they judge stuff. But how, how many sales it gets, I guess. Yeah, probably. Apparently, though, they don't tell anyone involved with the show. They just say either, yeah, we want more episodes, or no, we don't want any more episodes. They don't tell them what the viewing figures are. <laughs> which is better? Probably, probably a better idea, because then, you know, you're not going to get paranoid thinking, oh, no, our figures are getting worse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe I should change bits. You'll just go with the original. Because on the network shows, yeah. they like your figures are dropped this week. Try harder. You're going to be under fucking constant pressure to try and make your show more popular rather than make it the show you wanted it to be. Yeah. Well, I heard, I, I, I read up recently, I was reading up about like Battlestar Galactica. And one of the reasons for the, like, the fourth season of that is so terrible is that the Sci Fi Channel demanded that instead of doing an overall, an overarching plot, they wanted just random one-off episodes because they thought that that would get more viewership in. Of what? Of Battlestar Galactica. Oh, right. So they thought the best time to try and get more viewers was in a, the fourth season of that show. They were like, no, no, no. Just instead of doing an overarching plot, just put that aside and just do one-off episodes for the first half of that season. And because supposedly Ronald Moore has... I didn't really have any idea what he was doing <laughs> after the first two series. He just went with it. Fucking... That explained the boxing match... Yeah, that probably does, yeah. Why well, there's just so many random episodes that don't really have any connection. Haley Circus, that's where my parents died. We're yep. going to have to fight the ghosts of his parents. What did we look like you were going to have a level nine? Yeah, the stun one, yeah. Stun one? Oh, shit, sir. Yeah, you've only got like two things left to punch, punch, you punch, punch. <laughs> what a strange location. Why is this circus even still active? I thought it fucking moved, it kept moving around. Why would it still be in Gotham? They just happened to be in Gotham at the moment. Oh, brilliant. But wasn't there, an episode, wasn't there a comic where it turned out that uh, Haley Circus was actually gun running? Yeah. Or, or was that in a cartoon? Um. There was something about Haley Circus and Gunner on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was an issue of Nightwing or an episode of Young Justice, but yeah, like someone that he knew as a child, like yeah. called him and said something, like knew he was Nightwing and was like, "We need your help because 
some bullshit has been happening yeah, around yeah. recently. They're like being abused, not being abused, but used. Harassed, yeah. Give me my character! Oh, it's just it's spending five minutes just switching bullshits. So if you were at the circus and you saw the trapeze artist die, uh, would, would you adopt their son? I think I'd probably do what I think I'd do in any situation if I saw someone die. Tough, so turn around, walk away and figure out how to get home. But he's, uh, what if he's following you home? Like, Please, mister, I've nowhere to go. I don't know what the rest of the circus is. I was going to say, why, why, <laughs> why is he following me as well? I'd be like, all right, we'll take you to a... No one in the circus likes we'll him. We'll take you to an orphanage. Like to be fair, if he if well if I was Bruce Wayne, maybe I would look after him. But as myself, I'm like I wouldn't look after an eight year old or however fucking old he was. I'm got if you're a millionaire. Well, no, I don't know. Probably not. I don't have any kids. So who needed Batman? <laughs> what me and him train together, and I'm just like. Oh no, there's no training. You're not a superhero. Right? You're just a millionaire. <laughs> I just train him. You can train to him to be a superhero if you want. <laughs> Well, then I could be I could be his Alfred, I guess. That might be more entertaining. I could mould him. I, I, and then you could shoot people. I could be hit. He, he could be my hit girl <laughs> that I just use to kill people for. Would you tell him some story about your wife having been killed? I don't need to tell him a story. His parents just died at the circus. I'm yeah, pretty... but what's your reason? You've got to make up a reason. Oh, I'm dead. That's your reason for fighting crime. I convinced him I was a ghost. <laughs> When do we unlock Dead Man? And I wouldn't be much very useful carrying someone. But well, but it might be quite useful because you could, you could. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to see him until you possess someone. But you should see a ghostly outline. Oh. We're much more entertaining him than Dead Man. I don't know why he'd be on Young Justice. Because he's not young. I would really like the uh, Dead Man Batman team ups. Oh, yeah. like he'll just possess a random person and start talking to Batman and Batman will be like oh it's you boss and he'll be like how do you know it's me it's like I'm Batman <laughs> fair enough Batman was always mildly annoyed when he possessed him wasn't there a thing where he, yeah, he, he doesn't like Batman, that obviously yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't, he didn't dead man use a gun to shoot someone and Batman was fucking you know a breakdown Damn. Yeah, I think that happens and that might be in a comic act. That might be in one of the Young Justice cards. That might be one of the Justice League cartoons. I never watched that. Yeah, they're quite good. I, I hardly ever watched any of the Superman cartoon either. I watched the Batman one. I watched all the Superman one. I know that was enjoyable. It doesn't really get an ending because it got cancelled. But they have Dark Side. I know oh, no, it does get. It gets, a, it gets never the really ending in the Young Justice. I don't Justice. even know if I could watch them. I don't think they ever showed them on any channels I had as a child. I think I just uh, found them in a bin. <laughs> I can't remember how I found them. I watched, I, I watched all of them in one way or another. Did you not have Sky or anything? Uh, probably, but I don't think I was ever. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you would have seen them on Cartoon Network and shit. Oh, maybe, I don't know. I watched them I, on cartoons. I, I only saw Batman because they had that on Channel 4 or something. I got, so them, I got some of the Batmans on TV. The others were never put on terrestrial TV. Oh, fucking hell. Where are the fuck are the actual circus performers? They're dead. They're dead. So they killed... Tired. Did they, did they let them set up the tents before they killed them? Yep. Did they set up the, the kill them and they set just, up the tents? Riddler's the rented out the circus and they're just like, we don't care. He's given them enough money that the circus is like, we'll do whatever you want. Really. If he's got this much money, then what, why does he need to work for Lex? This is the secret. This is the, the finale to Carnival. <laughs> Where's Clancy Brown? He's going to be the boss. You have to beat him somehow. I saw. Have you seen that? For some reason that reminds me. Uh, you know, there's that new film with Colin Farrell out. I think it's a New York fairy tale or something. No, I've not heard of it. Yeah, it's just about like he's, he falls in love with some woman and then he gets killed and he wakes up in modern day times and he appears to be immortal. Mm. It looks quite cool. But I, I I saw the trailer and I wanted to see it anyways. And then I was looking up the credits and Will Smith 
will play, is, play, is listed as playing Lucifer. So I'm like, well, I'll definitely be going to see I that movie. I was about now. to say, he sounds a bit like Kate and Leopold. <laughs> Lucifer's not in there. Yeah, exactly. So if I, I, I definitely want to see how Will Smith, of all people, plays Lucifer. I'm sure he'll be the a very charming Lucifer. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. A bit like uh, Six Degrees of Separation. Is the Lucifer in that? No, he's, he's a charming young con man. Oh, right, right. Uh, uh, <laughs> everyone's dead except for you oh, right. Christ. Ooh, it's going to be close yeah that was so close <laughs> god I'm everyone's just res us oh god I'm not sure where Miss Martian is she needs fucking healers yeah I don't know where I am oh, I'm down again am I? no I'm not so, much, so many people do you know which how one of her powers is the healing power? No, I don't. That's why I'm just desperately hit, hitting buttons. There we go. Maybe he'll be uh, a bit like uh, Peter. He might want to then get your character over. Here. Oh, nightmare down again. What's his name at the end of Constantine when he plays Lu uh, he plays yeah. Lucifer? It's a, it's a random. I was not a fan because in the comics, Vertigo comics, Lucifer is. Like young blonde guy, not ugly old Peter, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, I thought he was quite a good Lucifer, but he wasn't yeah. the Lucifer from Constantine. He was just. Then again, Constantine wasn't <laughs> Constantine from Constantine, was he? No, exactly. I, I hope they make a, a reference to that movie in the TV series, like jokingly, like someone's like. What, like they, if he's got blonde hair, someone's like, did you dye your <coughs> hair or something? And he's like, no. <laughs> they got, what's his name that's losing his mind back as the taxi driver? Oh, what, Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. He's not famous anymore. I'm sh I saw on the internet someone put it together. It makes sense to me. The last film he did oh, was... Yeah. uh the... The Lars von Trier one. Oh, uh, yeah, Necro... Uh, no, um... Nephromaniac. Yeah. And this, the whole bizarre thing he's doing at the moment seems very Lars von Trier-y. Yeah. And, like, it's some kind of social art that he's intentionally been that's what people sort of say is a social art maybe well, it's the latest thing he art. did he's, he sat in a sat in a room for 12 hours crying or with a with a paper bag over his head and the people would go in and say and do anything they wanted to him and he just had to sit there and I saw I think it was someone from IGN like did a went in and recorded it yeah and I thought even he was being a little harsh he like started off asking sensible questions and then he just started dissing him I was like you're a fucking reporter you're as bad as everyone else <laughs> But right, the guy's a dick, but it doesn't mean you've got to fucking harass him, does it? I don't know, it's very strange what he's doing, if he's having a breakdown or something, but it doesn't make me want to watch Nymphomaniac any more than I did before, so... But he's, he's also got that film with Brad Pitt that he's doing about the tanks, about the tank corps during the Second Who the World fuck War. are we fighting? This is some fucking trippy shit. Oh, we're inside someone's brain. The Cy... Oh, guy. Simon. Simon. Yeah. He was in the cartoon. cartoon. Um, oh, we're fighting evil nightmares. Dreamy versions of ourselves. <laughs> Ugh. Fucking knocking the shit out of us. Oh, that's right. You're controlling the wrong person. That's why I'm like, what am I doing? Where's Flash going? That's why I was. I was <laughs> fucking. Because they swapped us again. Yeah, exactly. I was also confused. Yeah, so we'll have to see whether or not he recovers or if he's actually mental after he, the next movie comes out that he's in. It's not exactly a massive loss, is it? I mean, you've done some good films. Yeah. I liked Stephen Stevens, and I liked Holes. Uh, Disturbia was good. Yeah, and Constantine's all right. Yeah, like, he's, he's exactly a main role in it. Yeah, exactly. I'd, forgot, I'd forgotten he wasn't even in that. Oh, I damn. Saw something recently. And obviously, Transformers, he's, he's, he's not shit it. The film's just shit. Yeah. <laughs> so... We got better other young actors, you know. We got uh, not um, Cobra, Cobra Commander, Commander anymore, and um, others. Oh, God. oh <laughs> shit! God, those things do not fuck. So yeah, basically, should Simon probably... is shit, but his attacks are fucking ridiculous. If you uh, 
take Put over the wall and keep them in the heel thing. Yeah, yeah. So I am automatically spawned as well this time. That whole thing about him ripping off a comic book, though, mm. that was fucked up. But the fact that his apology was, was then also all plagiarized. so plagiarised, yeah. like, no, no one is that dumb. That must be some in intentional fucking Lars von Trier bullshit. I mean, what's it going to be? What's it going to come out as? Is, I think even if Lars von Trier says, oh, it was all just a thing and I've been filming him or something maybe it's like some I'm no, no I'm sure just the it. whole thing's just the publicity stunt but him and Lars von Trier were getting fucking high on god knows what one day and said hey do you know what would be a great idea making a movie about cutting clits off <laughs> <laughs> you already did that mate I'm going to do it again but this time it's 3D oh no <laughs> just dicks and clits there be a few things smashed. that in movies that I've had to look away from but that was one indeed it's, that seems to disturb men more than women though from people I've talked to about it yeah I know I think it's, it's just because it's weird. unexpected it's just one of those but if it was a cock it wouldn't disturb me as much well to be fair when he smashed his cock with a hammer it yeah, wasn't that was exactly great yeah, was like, <laughs> not oh, as disturbing as the, the, the rusty cut, scissors yeah. and the clip help me I think it's because it was just so unexpected and it's just like oh 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 god. I put a healing up thing around here now so we can just Hopefully that's him beaten. He's pretty shit. Uh, hmm, there we go. Yay. That was easy enough it seems. No Yes! yes. <laughs> Fuck off you games master looking cunt. Well that was unexpected, I was thought we'd be fighting Riddler, but I guess we never fight Riddler. She looks more like Zantana yeah, than that's anyone. what I was thinking. A prim version of Zantana. Yeah. I think we get Zantana at some point. We've only got, like, what, four or five levels left? So yeah. We seem to get one new person. Unless there's, like, it's going to get to that fifth level and it's going to scroll down and there's, like, another ten. Well, brilliant. I would not be pleased. Yeah, that, I think our, our playthrough might get cut short if that is the case. Oh, so we still might have to fight Riddler. I don't really hope we don't have to escape from this circus as it explodes. <laughs> it's a tent. You just go to the side and lift it no, up. Oh no, the tent's going to explode. And... Oh, it got dark then. The lighting just went <laughs> fucked. <laughs> The, the lighting is lo loading slower than the shot is. Yeah, great. Everything's rendering shit. I wonder if we fight Joker. I think we've still got... This isn't finished, we've still got to fight Riddler. I'm using a bold abode for Funhouse isn't so much a riddle as like a crossword clue. He's got the toughest thesaurus. Exactly. So this Riddler's... This Riddler shouldn't be called the Riddler, it should be called the Thesaurus. <laughs>